Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bearded Berserker. So yeah, hope you are keeping safe and well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever you've been getting up to, luckily just coming out of lockdown, still furloughed off for work. But that's the way of the world at the moment. But yeah, it's all been madness, trying to get festive and getting stuff sorted for Christmas and everything. So yeah, thank you guys. Before I start, Thank you, thank you so, so much for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt, here on my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel, where it's all about trying to help, support, promote, advertise, and show you guys there is an alternative to huge, massive faceless brands. There are smaller brands, individuals, and craftsmen out there creating some amazing products, and it's trying to help them, because obviously they're going through crazy times as well. They put their own time, effort, and money into what they're doing. They don't have the shed ton of money that regular massive brands have that they can find to promote in marketing and advertising their products. So they need all the help that they can get, which is why they more often than not take the social media in order to promote and advertise what they do, which is why I set this up to try and help. And the support that I'm getting from you guys is absolutely overwhelming. Thank you so, so much. I'm just a simple old man with his iPad, record my videos, upload them straight onto YouTube, so there's no fancy graphics, intros, outros. I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm just trying to do what I can to help, you know, and it's nice to try and give something back and just to help something. If I can get a, br a small brand, a craftsman or whatever, some sales, and sort of promote what they're doing then, happy days, you know, I'm happy. So as with all reviews I do on my channel, all of my reviews always have been and always will be completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own honest opinion. And as always, links are down below in the description box. So please, if you can, give them some support, give them a help, give them, some, give them a follow on their respective social media sites. And today, or this morning's review, because I've got two today, well, this review this morning and then this afternoon, I've got my top 10 beard balms of 2020 video after the success of the, my top 10 beard oils video yesterday. I'm doing part two today. But this morning's review has been very kindly sent through, get me notes in front of me, from Dollar Jeans, based up in Lincoln, here in the UK. Um, they were established in 1985, actually, as a market stall, and as the name suggests, they were doing a lot of denim wear, sort of Levi's, Wrangler and stuff like that. Then ended up getting a store and they do men's clothing. Very kindly sent through a couple of bits for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. So I do lot, I dress myself, you know, well, I'm getting to that age where I could actually do with having a hand getting dressed, but... I dress how I want to dress, you know, I've kind of got my own style, things that I like and things I don't like. I'm not necessarily what they were, I would class as a follower of fashion. Um, I just like what I, I like. And the thing that I like about small brands um, is that you don't see everyone wearing them, if you know what I mean. They're always kind of slightly different. And it is nice to know that you're not following the sheep, the same as everyone else. You've got your own style, your own mind, you know what you like, which is cool, whatever it might be, you know. So they're very kindly sent through a couple of products for me to have a look at, see what I think of. Now, I love flat caps. I've done a few uh, flat cap reviews in the past. I love them. Uh, it's kind of my, my, I used to go through a stage of my teens and wear it and, teens years ago um but kind of uh, beanies and regular caps and snapbacks and stuff like that now i'm getting older as you can see with the color of my beard um i really like flat caps um whether it's newsboys duck bills um baker styles and just general sort of flat caps and they're very kindly sent one through for me to have a look at see what i think of now i was going to buy myself a flat cap as a christmas present to myself, um, because there's no point telling somebody else in the family what you want for Christmas because it's either going to be wrong or they're going to have hassle trying to find it. And we've got a store, or me and my wife, we've got a store local to us that sells flat caps. And they're ridiculously expensive. I think they're like 30 quid for a tweed hat cap, a flat cap. Now, don't get me wrong. 
T-shirt is a T-shirt, a jumper is a jumper, you know, a hoodie is a hoodie, a hat is a hat. Just because it's got a name on it doesn't really, in my opinion, mean it's going to be better, it's going to be better quality and stuff like that. Sometimes it is, but a lot of the time it's not. It's just because it's got a name on it that they they can stick a stupid price on it. Um, and so I was not going to pay 30 odd quid on a flat cap. I can understand if it's designer and stuff. Um, like I say, there are some brands that do create sort of one-offs and everything like that, which is fine. But this wasn't. This is just kind of a run-of-the-mill flat cap, just with a label on the side. But Dollar Jeans, based in Lincoln, have very kindly sent me through a flat cap for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my opinion. This is a four-panel flat cap. It hasn't got the button on the top. But you can tell it's a four-panel flat cap because you've got one, two, three, four panels on it. They come in three different colours, which is grey, brown and green. This is the brown herringbone tweed. As you can see, it's called that because it's got like a herringbone look on it, the spine of a herring. Um, come with a label on it, what not to do. Dry clean, which is the circle apparently. Do not iron, which is an iron with a cross on it. See, I'm learning stuff all the time. Do not ring, which is a picture of something being twisted and dry flat and basically do your washing new k1 ki5 collection there you go so that was inside this it is kind of lined hopefully the camera's picking that up with netting and i believe so like the plastic yeah it feels like a plastic um cap part on it it is one size fits all now my only issue was whether it was just the way that it was packed or something like that, was it has, it had kind of, because it had been flattened, um, it, rather than sort of actually sending it that way, it had kind of been folded in a bit, whether it was the post and due to the post, but it left a couple of creases in the top. So when I put it on, da -da -da -da, as you can see, all I can see is the timer on the screen, um, but you can see kind of like a couple of trough like I've got a, sort of spoilers on the side. It does fit if I and sort of slightly get rid of it if I do pull it down. I don't like flat, flat cats. I do put a bit of a bend in the front of it. Fits really well though. Now, put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. It does say on here, um, dry clean, do not iron, and do not ring, and dry flat. But I have washed it myself. And believe it or not, I have ironed it as well. Um, I, pretty, apart from dry clean, I've pretty much done everything that the label says don't do. Um, it has eradicated the problem slightly. Um, I've got polystyrene heads out the back that I keep hats and Halloween masks and stuff on. So I use one of those to shape it, put it inside out on the top, hair dried it, put it back the other way around. And plus we've got this Lenore crease stuff and sprayed that with it. So it has eradicated the problem slightly. Um, but the cool thing with this is the price. It ain't 30 quid, it's not 40 quid, it's not 100 pound, six pound 99. Which I think is damn good, you know, because you can look stylish without going in and spending a shed ton of money. Um, they do a lot of different menswear, workwear, and gloves and accessories. On their website like i say links will be down below and it's really nice plus it's elastic uh, band around as well so one size fits all it does stretch as you can see um really really nice kind of thickness i'd expect from a herringbone cap it is breathable and um, doesn't get too hot and sweaty on the head um stitching i've had no problems with considering i have washed it wrung it and sprayed it and ironed it. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Haven't done anything with the peak because with peaks on cap, flat caps, they're either made out of plastic or they're made out of cardboard. This to me feels like a fairly decent thick plastic on there. There's no button on the top even though they do button ones and some flat caps have a button on the front. But really, really nice, good quality. Um, took literally, I think it was about four or five days for it to get here. Great product. Um, I think it, if it had been sent sort of flatter, flatterer, um, then it possibly wouldn't have got that, but I don't know whether that was packing error or whether that was 
um, the postman, because you're not a postman, all right? They just fling it round. Well, mine does anyway. So that was the flat cap, six pound ninety nine. One size fits all. Uh, made up of thirty five percent cotton, sixty five polyester. Good quality cap. Going to keep me head warm, me noggin warm during winter. Also, they have sent through a mask, very festive face mask um, as well, which is very kind of them. Didn't know this was coming. Nice, decent thickness. It's one of those ones that it's got removable filter whoop, throwing it on the floor. Um, so you can take filters out and remove them. This is the festive sort of orangey red snowflake one. The cool thing as well is the straps that go behind your ears are adjustable. Price on these are £3.99. Do loads and loads of different designs. And the cool thing as well, it's got the wire as well for the bridge of your nose that holds it there. Again, really nice product. Um, what we tend to do, or what we have done with our masks and everything, because obviously you've got to wear masks now everywhere, is we've got um, spray Dettols like an aerosol can. It kills 99%, 99.9% bacteria or whatever. So what we'll do is once we've used it, been out and everything, we'll come home, we'll spray the inside and outside with it, let it dry on the radiator, which just kills any bacteria that's lingering on the mask as opposed to having to wash it apart from a wise one, which has got lipstick stains inside. Um, this is a one size mask, as in the actual front from the top to the bottom. There's no stretcher or give in it, but decently made and come through in the packet. There's the packet it came in. Not necessarily COVID proof, even though they do come with the filter in there, but every little helps. And so yeah, again, really nice products like the Christmas design on it. Absolutely amazing products. Um, and to be honest, I was having a look through Dollar Jean's website yesterday after I'd done my reviews, and there's quite a few bits on there that I really like that it's really reasonably priced. You know, there was a country style, estate style um, padded jacket. It was like 39 quid. So you're not talking hundreds and hundreds, and it's still nice to see that there are clothing shops out there that do sell stylish wear, that do care about what they're doing, um, but just aren't charging the damn earth for it. So yeah, absolutely top-notch products from Dollar Jeans uh, in Lincoln. Like I say, comes in grey, brown and green. Links will be down below. Thank you so, so much to Dollar Stores for set, uh, Dollar Jeans uh, sending this through for me to have a look at see what i think of absolutely top-notch products links down below thank you guys and i hope you've enjoyed this little review of monday morning Whee! and stay tuned for my top 10 beer bums uh coming up this afternoon it's time now 10 to 10 so yeah wherever you are in the world whatever you're getting up to keep on taking care of each other keep on helping supporting each other and above all you only live once keep on loving each other make someone smile make someone happy make someone's day have a great one, guys. This is the Beat of Berserker. Have a good one. Cheers.